The worst, uh, the worst, typically the worst stylistic matchups you're gonna have is a uh, pure counter puncher against a pure counter puncher. I mean, I, I remember doing a Showtime main event. I believe it was um, Arginus Mendez against uh, uh, Bartholomew, Rancis Bartholomew, or maybe it wasn't a fight I was working, it was a fight I was at, I don't remember, but man, they were just watching each other. They were just looking at each other. And it was uh, one of the worst fights I, I, I've ever seen in my life. Because I believe even if you're a guy who boxes first, you gotta also understand how to set the traps, right? You gotta know how to lead and you also have to know how to sometimes use throwaway punches in order to create the counter punching uh, opportunities by forcing a guy to throw his shot so you can counter over the top of them. And you gotta always be fainting, but you gotta be having an effective jab. Listen, a jab is essential for anybody, but especially for a counter puncher because as a counter puncher, especially one like myself, I was a good counter puncher, having a good jab allows you to dictate without having to lead. I mean, you, you lead, if you lead just with the jab, you're gonna open up frustrating moments for your opponent and, he, and he's gonna give you opportunities to counter punch him because he's gonna get, be getting clipped with the jab so often if you got a good jab that eventually he's gonna realize, if I don't start throwing punches, I, I'm gonna lose these rounds. So you, he, you force him to throw those shots because your jab is so good that it's, be, it's landing. So when, and once you force him to throw those shots, mix with your feints, mix with your traps, of course, you create your counter punching opportunities. So even against other boxers, you've gotta have a good jab. I mean, when you start seeing guys who are just looking at each other, two counter punchers, I don't believe two counter punchers is necessarily always a bad fight, but if you got two counter punchers who have no jab, then you got a problem. And that's probably the worst stylistic matchup to watch that probably nobody wants to see.